we are continuing the objective question related to the chapter pressure and this question may give you a detailed idea about the subject matter that's why we are going to find out the correct option of each of the object equation look at this question number 17 a hydrometer floats with half of its stem outside the water surface it is now placed in alcohol its density is 0.8 now this is relative density hydrometer now floats with its stem at the same pos position with more stem inside the alcohol, with more stem outside the alcohol in tilted position. Okay, to understand this very nicely, I want to show you this. Look at this hydrometer consists of a stem and its lower side is connected to a cylinder. And this cylinder is partially filled with this filled with lead salts. Now, when it is it is placed in water, and what is told? Hydrometer half of its stem outside the water. Okay, this is the half of its stem outside the water. If it is placed in water, now what is told? The alcohol has density less than water, and if density of a liquid is less than water, then it exerts less of thrust. Of thrust depends upon density of the liquid if density is more than of thrust exerted by li that liquid will be more if density is less then of thrust will be less in alcohol density is less that's why the of thrust will be less that's why now not half more than half of the uh, stem will immerse in the liquid that's why with the stem at the same position this is wrong option with more stem inside the alcohol this is correct option with more stem outside the alcohol this is not possible and in tilted position this is uh, not the correct option that's why option b is correct okay let's go to another question this is question number 18 a hollow tin can have an average density equal to a liquid a tin can we have is average density is liquid equal to a liquid if the container is taken two meter below the surface of the liquid if it is pushed two meter below the surface of the liquid then what happens the container will bounce back to the surface and float. Container rise up and float just below the surface of the liquid. Container remains at the same place where it is left. Any one of the above three can happen. Now, which option is correct? Just think about it for two seconds. Did you get the answer? If not, I'll tell you. Container will bounce back to the surface and float. This option is not correct. If a liquid has, if we have a liquid, and if its density is equal to a body, which we are going to immerse into it, if the body is taken to this much depth, then its density and density of liquid is equal that's why it remains in its own place if it is taken to this place then it remains in the same place if it is taken to this place it remains in the same place because the density of the liquid is equal to the density of that body that's why inside the liquid where it is where it is taken or where it is immersed it remains in the same position. That's why which option is correct now? Container will bounce back to the surface and float. This is possible only when of thrust is more, but both of them have equal density. That's why it's not possible. The option A is not correct. Con contain container. Container rise up and float just above the surface of the liquid. This is also not possible. For this, the density of the uh, container should be less than the liquid. Container remains at the same place where it is left. This is correct because its density is equal to the density of the liquid. That's why this is correct option. Any one of the above three can happen. This is wrong. 
Okay, now let's go to another question. Two instruments are shown in the above figure. For what purpose they are used? Number A, both of them are used to prove Pascal's law. No, this answer is not correct. This option is incorrect because this second one is used to prove Pascal's law. When we apply force on one of the piston, it exerts pressure and this because of this pressure, all the pistons are found to be pushed away through the same distance. It proves that pressure exerted at any point in a confined liquid transmits equally and undiminished in all the direction. This is this instrument is used to prove Pascal's law, but not this one. Because if we pour water, then the water remains in the same level in all, all, the, all these uh, containers which are connected by means of a narrow tube. That's why both of them are not used to prove Pascal's law. Instrument of figure A is used to prove Pascal's law. This is wrong. But the instrument of figure B, uh, figure 2, is used to prove that liquid arranger is level itself. This is not correct. Instrument of figure 1, this one, is used to prove that the liquid arranger is level by itself. Yes, if we pour water or any liquid from one of the one of this tube, then it distributes uh, throughout the tube and level of liquid remains same in all the tube. That's why instrument of figure A is used to prove that the liquid arranges its level by itself is correct. But the instrument of figure 2 is used to prove used to prove Pascal's law. This is also correct. That's why option number C is correct. Now option D both the instruments are used to prove Archimedes principle. No, this is not correct option. Okay, this is finished. Now, question number 20. Which of the following uh, argument is correct for the following figure? The figure is given. There are two bodies, A and B. A is floating and B is sinking. A is bigger than B. Okay, A has more weight than B. This may be or may not be correct. It may be very light, like wood. And it may be a piece of iron. And iron small piece of iron uh, weighs more than a big piece of wood that's why this argument is uh, may or may not be correct b has more weight than a b has more weight than a this option is also not so correct because a may be um, the tin container and its weight may be greater than b and that, that's why B may be made up of only glass whose density is a little greater than this liquid. That's why we cannot say surely that A has more weight than B or B has more weight than A. Now let's see another option, maybe very correct option. Density of A is more than B. Density of A is more than the B. This is also not correct, but density of B is more than A. A body sink in a liquid if its density is greater than that liquid and that's why uh, density of b is greater than this liquid and a body floats on the liquid if its density is less than the liquid it means a has less density than this liquid and b has greater density than this liquid that's why density of b is greater than a that's why option D is correct. Density of B is more than the, the A. And this way, we can uh, select the correct option from the given uh, objective question. And this, object, this objective question gives us very clear idea about the subject matter. We have to evaluate the correct option like this. Okay, this much for today.